All right, so I'm going to open up and disassemble this HP ZBook 15G3. All right, so first thing we're going to need, uh, let's see, these don't look like regular screws, so they look like they might be T6 or possibly T7. Hmm. Might even be bigger. Okay, so are these actually T8 screws? Let's see here. Oh, wow. Okay, these are T8 screws. So you're going to need a Torx 8 bit or T8 screwdriver. All right, and we're going to remove all the screws from the bottom. You want to keep all the screws in order because they can be different size, shape, and length. Um, and if you mix them up, you can actually damage the computer. So the way I do that, oh, I guess these ones actually stay into the case. But normally, I would put the flat side face down um, on my desk in the pattern I remove them. So we'll see if any of these screws actually come out. It looks like they all stay in place, so that's good. All right. And you can just pull them up to make sure that they're completely removed. Okay. All right, if this video helps you, um, make sure to like and subscribe and share my channel with others. All right, and if it helps you save a bunch of money, consider throwing a little my way. All right, so there we go. Get all these screws out. So there's four up along the back where the hinge is. There's three along the center, and then you got two down here. So most likely, we're going to start lifting from the back, and then there might there'll probably be some clips or something down here. Okay, so remove all those screws. All the screws seem to stay in place. All right. There we go. Okay, so now that we undid all the screws, let's see what we're gonna have to do to get this thing apart. So let's flip it up. And most likely we're gonna pull from here. So as you can see, if I pull from here, it forms a gap back here, okay. So let's see here, since this is a model I haven't actually worked on before, it's a mobile workstation according to that label back there. All right, so I'm gonna pull back here and then we'll see if I can kind of pry underneath. It doesn't look like it. I'm gonna remove this USB so I have a little more room to work here. Okay, and let's see if I can figure this out. Oh, so it popped out just like that. So I used my fingers under here and then I pushed with my thumb there to pry that out. So as you can see, the entire cover, oops, let's zoom out a tiny bit, too much. Need to move some junk out of the way. All right, so now the entire cover just popped up like this, nice and easy. Here you can see the little clips that I was talking about. There's actually a thermal pad here, so you wanna be careful not to um, get that all dirty. All right, so we'll put that out of the way. This laptop looks super clean inside. It looks like there's actually a removable GPU here, but the GPU is designed specifically for this computer. So if you're thinking to upgrade it or something, make sure that it was designed for this computer. Um, sometimes the heat sink is also different for every model that you put. Um, I'm trying to see if the CPU is replaceable, but no, the CPU is soldered down to the motherboard so you can't replace it. There are four sticks of RAM here and they actually label it. Um, so there's slot number two, slot number four, there's slot number one and three right here. So we're only using slot number one. There's a 16 gig stick, PC4, 2400T. That's actually super nice. I've never seen um, one of these laptops like that. This is very nicely designed very easy to get to all the sticks of ram easy to get to the ssd there's actually two m.2 ssd slots here um the ssd that's in here is actually a pcie nvme ssd and let's see here this is does it say here m.2 okay they don't label it too well actually so i don't know um, sorry, I'm trying to see what, if it says on here, what kind of SSD it is. Okay, it is an NVMe, and it is, they don't say the storage amount, or I'm not seeing it. I'm guessing it's 512 gigs, because there's some, a random pattern of numbers, and I did see a 512 in the model number here. 
All right, again, there is another M.2 slot here. Wow, there's a lot of slots for this thing. So there's a wireless card down here. There's another slot right there. The only thing I'm doing is changing the battery out because um, the customer left it sitting for a long time, so the battery uh, is no longer taking a charge. But um, yeah, so this is just to kind of show what's inside this computer. I'm not going to do a complete disassembly because I don't want to risk damaging it. The computer is working okay. Um, we did end up doing a clean install on it. There's the BIOS or CMOS battery connector there with the twisted red and black wires. Um, again, we are going to have to take the battery out and it's connected there. And you got this connector here, it looks like for the LCD LVDS connector under there. Um, if you do mess with that connector, you want to make sure to disconnect the battery and press and hold the power button before working on it. Right. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and replace the battery. They have the HP spare part number here, which is 808452-001. And then they actually have also the, oh, so the battery was manufactured in 2016. And then they also have the battery regular model number here, which is VV09XL. So we're going to go ahead and grab the spare and just make sure it looks okay. Because when I got the battery, I didn't have the internal model numbers here. So I had to kind of like guess what it was based on the model number of the laptop. And luckily it looks like, looks to be the same. We got the same uh, VV09XL. All right, these batteries are pretty heavy feeling. All right, and we got this. All right, so let's go ahead and remove the battery. We're gonna disconnect this cable here. So to remove that, we flip this latch up, all right, and then you can go ahead and pull this connector back, kind of wiggle it. Be careful not to damage it. Looks like you got this, so I think that's a smart card reader. And then there's actually a slot here for a two and a half inch SATA hard drive, but it looks like it's not being used. So I'm not sure where that would connect. It would probably connect to this little connector there. Um, but yeah. All right, I think that slot is empty. Okay, so now we're going to switch over to a PH1 or JS1 to remove the battery screws. All right, there's one down here. Again, since we didn't remove any of the other screws, you're probably gonna um, keep in mind, keep the screws in order, because if you mix them up, you can cause damage putting the wrong screws in the wrong place. All right, so we'll remove the second screw over here. Remove another screw up here. All right, then what I'd like to do, I can use the replacement part to see. There's only those three screws, so here you can see one screw there, one screw there, and one screw here. All right, so we should be able to lift it out. Let's see, where are the little latches? So we got the two latches here. So it looks like to remove the battery, you lift it up from this side, all right? And then we're gonna actually pull it over to the right, and that's how you remove the battery. We left the cable connected, so you wanna be careful with this. And then we're going to go ahead and remove that connector. So the way I'm going to remove this connector, let me see if I can show you. You also want to keep in mind of the connector and how it looks here. Let's see if I can show you this. Oops, I'm charging. Let me stop charging my phone so it doesn't overheat. Okay. So here you can see there's actually the two um, connectors here and then three there. So you can see, and then there's a little gap in the middle. So anyways, we're going to remove the battery connector. I'm just going to use my fingernails and I'm going to wiggle to walk the connector out. You slowly keep wiggling it back and forth just like that. And there we go. We got this battery out. Okay. So we're going to set the battery aside. Again, this is just going to be a quick video. Here you can see the CMOS battery. You also got this connector here. I'm not sure what that's for. There's four dots in the front. Maybe it's a battery capacity meter, but I don't know how you would check that. I don't, I don't know. If anyone knows what it is, feel free to let me know. It could also be a microphone or something, but I'm not going to take it out to check. Um, trackpad connectors here. Oops, sorry. I'm going all over. I don't think you guys were seeing anything I was talking about. CMOS battery. You got this cable here, and I don't know what that is. It has four little holes. Again, it might be a battery meter or a microphone, but I don't want to pull it out to find out because I don't want to risk damaging this computer. It looks like a nice one. Got this cable here as well for the trackpad. And then there's another bit going down the side here. Let me zoom out. OK, 
Okay, sorry. I probably was talking about a whole bunch of stuff and you didn't see any of it. But um, yeah, smart card reader, hard drive, nothing's in there. Um, and this is probably the connector for it. So yeah. All right, let's go ahead and put the other battery. Again, there's the, um, what do you call it? The LCD LVDS connector here. Looks like it's held down with two screws and then it's most likely one of those connectors that you can pop up. All right, and these SSDs, you take them out, one screw, it lifts up slightly and pulls out just like the RAM. But yeah, all right, let's go ahead and put the battery, placement battery into place. So we're gonna slide it over this way. Kind of have to go in at an angle. Okay, and then they have this little notch that you can kind of slide left and right a little bit. You wanna make sure you get the screw mount holes lined up there and there, okay. And then we're gonna go ahead and curve this cable around just like the original one. If you remember, it's like this. So we're gonna do the same thing. Curve this cable around, get that lined up. All right, just like that. Come on, get lined up and go in. Okay, and then you're gonna use the wings to pull it into place. So let me zoom in again to make this easier to see. Okay, grab this, get it all lined up, and squeeze the two halves together, and there we go. We've got the battery connected. Let's zoom back out, put back the screws, and see if the replacement battery takes a charge. We're also going to, of course, put this cable back in. Don't forget that if you took it out. Looks like you actually don't need to take this out if you're going to replace the battery, but I already did, so let's go ahead and slide that back in. All right, get that all lined up. Hold that into place, flip that latch down, there we go. All right, let's go ahead and put back the three screws. Just like this. All right. So this model looks to be super easy to work with. If you wanted to take the hard drive out, you got these screws holding these um, brackets in place. Um, so this actual model will vary from, of course, from model to model, different um, graphics card, different amounts of RAM, different hard drive, different SSD, things like that. All right, so hopefully that's good. Let's go ahead and put this bottom cover on. Let's zoom out a tiny bit so you can see. All right, so to put it back, you just basically do the reverse of how you took it out. You'll put this down. Okay, I found out what those four dots are. Those are the LEDs for the wireless, the power button, or the power charging, and the hard drive. All right, anyways, get that in. All right, make sure you keep this flush down here. Okay, you don't want it to come back up. And then we're going to switch back to the T8 screwdriver. And put these screws back in. These screws do, the corner ones do go in at an angle, so keep that in mind. You don't want to try and make it go straight down. You do want to go in at that angle. All right, so hopefully it's not some charging circuit inside the computer that's messed up. We're going to have to test that. All right, I'm just going to put in all the screws because this cover is pretty easy to remove, so. I'm not worried if it doesn't work and I have to take it back out. It's not that bad, so. All right. Make sure you clip back in all the edges. Okay. Everything looks good. All right, and let's put back the rest of the screws. Again, these go in at an angle. Okay, and these ones go straight down, of course. Last one goes in at an angle. Okay, I'm gonna put back this little USB thing. All right, and now let's see if the battery will let it power on before it wouldn't power on, even after leaving it plugged in for several hours. So hopefully this solved the issue. All right, let's go ahead and open this up and press the power button. And we got power, so that's good. It's a good sign, much better than before, nothing at all. All right, and we got the HP logo here. 
All right. And it's booting up as you can see. Okay, and there we go. So we're good to go. I'm going to plug it in, make sure it shows it's charging. So right now there's no password on it. So I'm going to take a look and see. Here you can see down here. Yes, I am working on this at like 1 a.m. All right, I still got actually two more computers to work on. Oops, I don't need to check that. All right, so we got the 67% remaining. Let's go ahead and plug this thing in and see what happens. All right, I'm going to get the charger set up and I'll be back in a bit. All right, got the charger plugged in. Let's go ahead and hook this up. The light on the side is white. Charger light up, lit up. Um, let's see. So I see this little thing moving, which is a good sign. Before it wasn't moving at all. It just said plugged in. Um, it still just says power mode plugged in, so it doesn't even say it's charging. Hmm, I really hope it's charging. So it says 67%. I'm just going to leave it plugged in and we'll find out. But anyways, that's pretty much all there is to this. Hopefully this video helped you guys. If it did, please like and subscribe um, and share my channel with others. Again, if this video helped you save a bunch of money, please consider throwing a little my way. Even a dollar is greatly appreciated. And I'll see you all in the next one. All right, let's drop this. Bye.